Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the city of Champions for this BCA sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers basketball. Tonight the Lady Boxers welcome in the Whittier Lady Wildcats to Staff Gymnasium. My name is Peter Zimbro. I'll have the call of tonight's action after Brockton wins the tip, unable to connect at the Whittier end of the court. Ball goes backcourt, backcourt violation on Brockton, so it'll be Wildcats ball. Starting five for the Lady Boxers, number four, Giannacia Silvermore, number 11, Chanel Melton, number 22, Tatiana Diaz, number 23, Chantel Jordan, and number 35, Aliyah Brito. Wildcats for three, no good off the rim, rebounded by Chantel Jordan for Brockton. Starting five for the Wildcats, number two, Andrea Terranova, number five, Kayla Riley, number 13, Michaela Martin, Number 23, Josie Sanchez, and number 24, Samal Von Ley. Down low, we've got a foul called against number 23 for the Wildcats, Josie Sanchez, and this is going to send Aliyah Brito to the free throw line. Seven minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the first quarter. We are schoolers here at Staff Gymnasium. Brito connects with their first shot from the free throw line. And 1-0 will remain the score as she misses her second. Rebounded by Wildcats. And we've got a traveling call against the Wildcats. Brockton Ball. Woodyear Vocational School, based out of Haverhill, Massachusetts, north of Boston. Got another foul called against number 23, Josie Sanchez for the Wildcats. This is gonna send Brockton to the free throw line once again. And it'll be Chanel Melton this time around for Brockton. Whittier with their first bucket of the game. We're tied at 2, 6.45 left to go in the first quarter. Giannacia Silvermore for three, sinks it. Brockton leads 5-2. Whittier Vocational High School. Most notable athlete ever to come out of that school. Professional boxer Jeff the Hell Razor Frazier. The only boxer in history to participate on two seasons of the TV show The Contender. He was on season one, never got to compete because he contracted chicken pox while on the show. So he was eliminated from the show by proxy of having chicken pox, came back on the finale and fought and won on the undercard. But because he really didn't get to compete in the tournament of season one, they invited him back for season two. And unfortunately, he was tragically killed in a train accident about a year ago. 5-2 is your score. Brockton is on top, 6.33 left to go in the opening quarter. That timeout was called by Kevin Bradley, head coach for the Wildcats. Brockton inbounding the ball. Tatiana Diaz with the basketball for the Lady Boxers. To Brito, outside to a wide open Chantel Jordan. No good, Brito with the rebound off the glass. No good, rebounded by very tall number 24, Samel Vante for the Wildcats. Wildcats enter this game with a very gaudy record. 13 wins, one loss. What you should know about that is that one loss came against Brockton earlier this year in Haverhill on Whittier's home court. 
So Brockton has had some success against the Wildcats thus far this season. Right now they're leading 5-2 to two with just over five minutes to go in the first quarter. That's number two for the Wildcats. Andrea Terranova making it a one-point game, putting off the glass and in. Diaz coming down the floor for Brockton, gets it out to Chantel Jordan. Jordan to Mel Melton. Stops and pops. No good. Rebounded by Jordan. And she's fouled. She'll go to the free throw line shooting two. That foul going to be against Von Tay. Number 24 for the Wildcats. Brockton getting a lot of free throw opportunities early on in this game. Three fouls called against the Wildcats in the first two minutes and 15 seconds of this game. Six to four, Brockton with the lead. So count the bucket and one. Aaliyah Brito gets called for the foul. Whittier ties the game at six now with an opportunity to take the lead with 535 left to go in the first quarter. No good rebound by Brockton. Diaz bringing the ball down the floor for the boxers. Loses the ball. Janisha Silvermore down low. Another foul committed by the Wildcats. This one on Dominique Ortiz, number 34, and Brockton will see more shots at the free throw line. 8 6 your score, Brockton on top, 4.45 to go in the first. Diaz with the steal. Rebounded by Jordan, no good. Brock with the rebound again. That's Dominique Coley putting off the glass and in. 10-6, four point edge for the boxers. 422 left to go in the first quarter. Three point attempt by the Wildcats, no good. Jordan with the rebound for Brockton to Melton. One bounce off the glass and and Brockton leads 12-6. Timeout's going to be called by Kevin Bradley, the head coach for the Wildcats. His team trails by six. 4.07 left to go in the first. Brockton up 12 to six. You're watching BCA Sports, Brockton Community Access. Peter Zimbor calling the action solo tonight from Staff Gymnasium. On the final Friday evening of the month of January.
Diaz with the rebound for Brockton. Try to get to Dominique Coley, ends up in the hands of the Wildcats. They nearly lose it. They maintain possession, however. It's Kayla Riley with the ball. She loses it to Tatiana Diaz. Diaz loses it to the Wildcats. And we're gonna have a foul down low. And Whittier will head to the free throw line. We'll see who they called that against for Brockton. It's gonna be against Giannisha Silva Moore. And we are gonna see, I think that's Dominique Ortiz at the free throw line. 3.33 left to go in the first. It is Ortiz. Harder to tell with girls than boys because the numbers on the back, you can't always see because the hair covers it. 12-7 your score as the Wildcats cut the deficit to five. 3.28 left to go in the first. Janisha Silvermore for the Boxers, 14-7. 3.05 to go here in the first. Diaz with the steal. Two on two situation. Off the glass, no good. Brockton with the rebound, but Whittier comes back up with it. Brockton takes it away again. Melton with the ball for Brockton. She's gonna lay it in on her own. 16-7 boxers. Just over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Janesha Silvermore with the hot hand tonight. Shoots from downtown again. Brockton up 19 to seven. Buck 35 to go in the first quarter. And we have a charging call against Whittier. And head coach Kevin Bradley does not like that call at all. Official says, hey, you may not like it, but I don't need to hear about it. Sit down. I've never seen a coach get ejected from a game in high school sports. I've seen technical fouls. I've seen coaches told to sit down. I wonder if anyone's ever actually been told, you have to leave the premises. Rockton again, 21-7, football score for the Lady Boxers. Buck 13 to go in the first quarter. 
Crockton getting these rebounds upon these missed shots down low by Whittier time and time again, and Brockton making their laps as they do just there. 23 to seven, Brockton on top, 59.2 seconds left to go in the first quarter. What are you trying to make up the difference with a three-pointer? Unable to do that. Trying to claw away at Brockton's lead. Unable to. Twenty seconds to go in the first quarter, and number thirteen for Whittier lays it in. Michaela Martin, twenty-three to nine, Brockton on top. Just over ten seconds to go. Diaz to Chantel Jordan, up, no good. Five seconds, Whittier ball. Two seconds, and that was a traveling call, just as the quarter ended, and through one quarter of play. Brockton on top 23 to 9 as they hold the Wildcats to single digits in the opening frame of this game. Head coach Kevin Bradley for the Wildcats talking things over with his team on the sidelines. A situation they're not used to being in. Only lost once thus far this season, but that of course was against the Lady Boxers. Second quarter about to begin. Wildcats will inbound from midcourt. Foul called against Brockton's 
Gianasia Silva Moore, her second personal foul of the day. Sends the Wildcats to the free throw line. Five team fouls, the Wildcats here in the first half thus far, four for Brockton. Melton, short jumper, no good off the back of the rim, rebounded by the Wildcats. And foul called against Brockton as number 13 for the Wildcats. Michaela Martin heads the line to shoot one. That foul was against Chanel Melton. 6.53 left to go in the first half. 23 to 11, Lady Boxers are on top. Make that 23 to 12. Janacia Silvermore again from the outside. Brockton up by 14, 26-12. So Brockton will inbound the ball. Aliyah Brito off the glass and in. Nice maneuvering by Brito to get the open shot. 28-12, 6 10 left to go in the first half. Tatiana Diaz with the steal. Gets it up to Janisha Silva Moore. All alone off the glass and in. Brockton up 30 to 12 with just over six minutes to go in the first half. Brockton with the steal again. Diaz with the ball to Chanel Melton off the glass and in. This is turning into a Brockton Lady Boxers party and Whittier is gonna have to call a timeout as Brockton is on quite a roll. Up now by 20 points, 32-12 with five minutes and 55 seconds left to go in the half. If you're head coach April Dingwell for Brockton, you've got to be pleased with what you've seen from your Lady Boxers, particularly in the last minute or so. Great defense turning into offense. Stealing the ball, putting points on the board. Brito with the steal for Brockton to Diaz. 
Diaz gonna slow down the pace just a tad. Surveys her options, tries to get to Brito, ultimately gets in the hands of GNA Shamor. Tries to get in the hands of Diaz, ultimately gets in the hands of Melton. Back to Brito, loses it. That was a nice defensive play by Whittier. Let's see if they can turn that into anything positive for these Wildcats. Brito down low, 34-12, 4.52 to go in the half. Brockton very much on top. Tatiana Diaz down low. Chanel Melton down low. Brockton really running away with this. The Wildcats have only scored three points in the second quarter. Three points. Nice defensive play by Whittier. And unable to turn that into any points, however. 2.47 left in the half. Brockton leads by 24 points, 36 to 12 is your score. This could be an incredibly high scoring game for the Lady Boxers if they can keep up the pace which they have set early on. Down low for Brockton, Dominique Coley. 38-12 Brockton on top.
So the Wildcats in a bonus situation go to the line. Thirty-eight, fourteen. now the score. Buck 45 left to go in the first half. Three-pointer by Chanel Melton. 41-14, Brockton. Just over 30 seconds to go in the first half. 45-14 Brockton. They have the 31-point edge over the Wildcats. I think edge might be a little bit of a lackluster word there. They have a 31-point domination over Whittier at this point. 18.2 seconds to go in the first half. The first half comes to a conclusion, and a dominant half it was for Brockton. They hold Whittier to single-digit points in both the first and second quarters. Collectively, Whittier has 14 points. Brockton has 45. Brockton up by 31 points at the half. We'll step aside for a quick breather. When we return, second half action. Stick with us here on Brockton Community Access Sports. Back for second half action between Brockton and Whittier. Brockton with a 45 to 14 lead as we now enter the third quarter. Wildcats with the ball to begin the second half. Gianasia Silva Moore having herself a Fantastic game tonight. Three pointers galore in the first half, and now a nice lay in showing that she can get the job done inside as well as outside. Tatiana Diaz call for the foul. Only took 49 seconds for our first personal foul of the second half. <laughs> 
Samel down low for Whittier, making it 47-16. Brockton, 6.45 to go in the third. You know, going into this game, despite Brockton's win over the Wildcats earlier this year, just looking at their record, you would not think that Brockton would be destroying them at this juncture like they are, but that is exactly what's happening. Following this game, Brockton goes on a two-game away stand, taking on Barnstable and Durfee next week. Durfee will be a very significant big three divisional matchup. Then Brockton will be back home for a three-game homestand that includes games against Bridgewater Raynham and another divisional foe in the new Bedford Whalers. 47-18 Brockton on top, 6-10 to go in the third. Diaz down low, tries to dish it outside to a teammate, gets in the hands of the Wildcats. We're less than a month away from this regular season being over. And we're hoping that the Brockton Lady Boxers as well as the men's team are both a part of the MIAA postseason tournament and we hope they go far. Chantel Jordan from inside the perimeter. 51-18 boxers, 5.05 left to go in the third. Diaz for three at the top of the key, sinks it. 54 to 18. Wow. Brockton again. Chantel Jordan lays it in. Foul called against Chantal Jordan for Brock, and so the Wildcats head to the free throw line.
Chanel Melton all alone down low. 58 19 Brockton, 327 to go in the third. Chantel Jordan with the takeaway, puts it up, no good. Diaz with the rebound. Diaz outside, gets it to Chanel Melton. Melton inside, she's fouled. She'll probably not be going to the line. I don't think she's in the act of shooting. We'll see how the officials see this. And uh, they'll be inbounding from underneath as expected. Official blows the whistle. And Chanel Melton had to come out of the game as it looks like there was a little bit of blood on her leg. I don't even think she realized it. Officials, as a rule, have to send her out of the game.
From downtown, no good for Brockton. They get the rebound, however. Chantel Jordan from inside the perimeter sinks the two. 62 to 19, Brockton. Just over a minute to go in the third quarter. Chantel Jordan pretty much all alone. Off the glass and in. Draws the foul, count the bucket and one. 64-19 Brockton, less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Chantel Jordan shooting one at the free throw line. Nice steal by Gianasia Silvermore. Missed the layup, rebound by Jordan off the glass and in. 67-19. What more do you say about this game? Even the shots that Brockton doesn't have a good look at are still going in. 69 to 21, 15 seconds to go in the third. I think where our camera's situated, there's some motion detector lights going around. Because lights go off every now and then. Then when something happens, very physical at one end of the court, they turn back on here in the gym. Foul against Brockton. This is going to send Dominique Ortiz for the Wildcats to the free throw line. 69 21 Brockton on top. 2.9 seconds to go in the third quarter. Third quarter comes to a conclusion. Brockton on top, 69 to 22. Eight minutes of basketball left to be played thus far. A total domination by the Brockton Lady Boxers. Perhaps the most complete performance by these Lady Boxers that we've seen all season long here on the games we've covered on BCA Sports.
So a foul called against Brockton again. 7.26 left to go in the game. Brockton on top, 69-22. At this point, Brockton could actually just refrain from playing defense and still win this game handily. Rito with the short jumper, 71-23 boxers. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for the Lady Boxers. Inside to Chanel Melton. Try to get the Melton and actually wound up in the hands of Dominique Coley and she gets tied up with a few Wildcat players. Jump ball is called. 6.37 left to go in the game. 71-24 Lady Boxers and we've got a timeout called. Well, we've got an opportunity. We would like to remind our viewers watching out there that BCA's own newbie Rateau has a big event coming up at Messiah Baptist Church, February the 17th, 3 p.m., a special screening of his award-winning documentary, Step Up, 3 p.m., Saturday, February 17th. Actually, Sunday, February 17th, 3 p.m., Messiah Baptist Church. Look up Newbie Productions on Facebook for more information. Newbie spelt N-O-U-B-E. Newbie Productions, February 17th. Screening of the documentary, Step Up. Wonderful documentary produced and directed by our very own Newbie Rito. We're all very proud of him. And as the shot clock was about to expire, Giannisha Silvermore having probably her best game shooting outside the perimeter we've seen all season. Sunk that one. Whittier with a two, but Brockton still leads 74-26. 6-10 to go in the game. Lots of new faces for this Brockton team coming in that we haven't seen much of. Nadia Montero checks into the game. Three-pointer by Andrea Terranova for the Wildcats. Brockton coming down the floor. Tatiana Diaz with the ball. To number 20, 
Daliana Montero, who we're seeing in the game for the first time tonight. And that's a stolen pass by Silva Moore over to Nadia Montero. She's body bumped. She'll go to the line shooting too. Diaz for three, no good. Brockton keeps it inbounds into the hands of the Wildcats, though. Diaz for three, sinks it. Seventy-eight to twenty-nine, Brockton. Four twenty-seven to go in the game. Make that seventy-eight thirty-one. Count the bucket for the Wildcats, and they'll be shooting a free throw. Foul called against Diaz. And a huge ovation as I believe Amanda Purnell checks into the game as Tatiana Diaz takes a breather. Do we have a tech called against Brockton? I guess we did. Not sure what that's about, but Wildcats shooting some free throws.
315 left to go in the game. Brockton up 78 to 34. Wildcats in the bonus, so if Brockton fouls from here on out, a lot of free throw opportunities for the Wildcats. Not that it's going to make any difference in the outcome of this game. A lot of new faces on the floor for the Wildcats as well. Number 12, Angie Martinez, number. Terranova's jumper no good, rebounded by Brockton. Brockton now on top, 80 to 36, 2.30 to go in the game. Daliana Montero lays it in for Brockton. 82-37 boxes on top. Two minutes to go in the game. <laughs> Traveling call against Brockton. Less than a minute to go in the game. Lewis goes to lay it in, no good. Rebounded by the Wildcats. Brockton still playing some very aggressive defense. And they're gonna foul the Wildcats, so the Wildcats will head to the free throw line.
Final seconds of this game dwindling down. Brockton defeats the Whittier Wildcats by a score of 84 to 44. An absolute annihilation by the Lady Boxers. Destruction and dominance. Once again, your final score, Brockton 84, Whittier 44. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman Aaron Tebow. I'm Peter Zimbor. Lady Boxers win. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.